There is a lot of ghost stories. This place is said to be haunted. A lot of people have had strange experiences here. Yeah, I just, I don't like turning my back down there. This extensive tunnel system was just forgotten about. Oh, it's getting closer. Did you hear that? I love a woman talking or giggling or something. It sounded like a deep male voice. All up my legs and all like up my arms and my back is just like goosebumps, freezing cold. Hey Crypt Keepers, thank you so much for tuning into Amy's Crypt tonight. I have a very special location because this one is extremely creepy looking. And it looks so creepy that it has actually been used in a Hollywood horror movie. So we have a real horror movie location to investigate tonight. It's also said to be quite haunted. So let's go check it out. The Unicorn Brewery was operational in Borough, South Australia from 1873 until 1902. Today, all that remains of the old site is its extensive underground tunnel system, which once made up the brewery cellars. For many years, following the closure of the brewery, these tunnels were sealed off and forgotten about, but they were rediscovered in the 1970s. Since then, many claim to have had paranormal experiences within the dark tunnels, extending from hearing disembodied footsteps or voices and even sighting shadow figures. Given the cellar's creepy appearance, they have been utilised as filming locations for films such as the Australian horror flick Wolf Creek 2. But could these scary looking tunnels really be haunted? Let's find out. Alright, come on in guys. I think you're all going to love this location because I love it. Now this is the Unicorn Brewery Cellars and we're actually going underground tonight. We're going down here. Not through this staircase though. <laughs> that has been blocked off. We're actually going through this one here. So here we are, underground. This was the cellars for the Unicorn Breweries up and th through 1873 to 1902. So this place stored the beer for South Australia for a long, long time. The brewery, which was above us, has largely been dismantled. So a lot of the building, uh, the bricks and the stone that was used in the brewery has actually been repurposed for other buildings, which is cool. And this place is said to be haunted. And I can tell you what, We've already been down to suss out the location where we can film during the day and we had some of our own experiences so i'm going to take you through the cellars to the areas where we heard strange things or to where jared had a really frightening experience so so scary but yeah this place is quite an interesting location it was sealed off until about the 1970s after the the brewery closed because these tunnels this extensive tunnel system was just forgotten about so Let's get right on into the tunnels. So I'm also rolling ghost tube. You see the overlays on the screen and the reason I'm doing that whilst we do our little walkthrough is just to see if we pick up on any words or magnetic fluctuations down here in the cellars and that might help us guide our Who is she? investigation. My name is Amy. I'm here tonight with Jared and we're hoping to talk to anyone that might be down here in the cellars in this tunnel system. We're very interested to communicate and know who is down here. Like a lot of the places in Burra, which is an, quite an old mining town here in South Australia, there is a lot of ghost stories. This place is said to be haunted. A lot of people have had strange experiences here. And I mean, look at this place. It looks like the kind of place you'd expect to see a ghost or have something happen to you and as I mentioned earlier it was used in a Hollywood horror movie so I don't know if anyone's guessed it yet but Wolf Creek 2 Aussie horror very brutal very gruesome and yeah it was filmed down here in these tunnels so I'm gonna go into this part now, did you say this was, is this the part you were talking about, Jared? Yeah, I felt in this, just around the bend up here, I felt really just like a dark, cold feeling. I mean, it is dark and cold, but that's the feeling I got. <laughs> it is freezing Just down around here. this bend here. Is there anyone down here? Look at that. Oh my God. 
Can I switch to night shot for a sec? Wait, Jared, do you smell smoke? Actually, I do, yeah. Sort of like a chimney smoke, yeah? Yeah, like wood burning. Hmm. What do we do if there's a fire down here? <laughs> well, I know where the exit is, so we vacate. <laughs> Is it coming from down here, you reckon? I don't actually know. Ooh. What? Ooh. <laughs> I'm just like, uh, don't mind me, I'm just walking into this with my head. <laughs> Is there someone down here? Can you tell me why I smell smoke? Did you hear that? That was my stomach. I had Keys jangling. Does your stomach sound like keys? No. Can you make a noise for us if you're here? See my breath, it's so cold. Sometimes these are me jingle, so I'll have to do that up. But I did want to remind you guys that I have my Halloween merch on sale now, so check out the links below. Um, but yeah, I might do these up just so I know that it's not me jingling about. I did hear something, it sounded as if it was down that tunnel, to be honest. Keys with you. jingling, it sounded like keys. Well, this is where I felt that dark, cold sort of feeling today. I just want to check as well that, you know, I'm not smelling smoke anywhere else. I'm like a bloodhound. Look at that smell. It's very different in here. Yeah, I can't smell it here. It's less cold and it just has the normal, I guess like that musty kind of dampish sort of smell that you smell in underground tunnels like this. So this area interests me. I don't know if it came from down here, but earlier in, well, it was yesterday in the day we came through, but we came down to explore, suss out the area. And Jared and I were standing up this end of the tunnels and I heard something first initially. What I heard was a loud thud and in all honesty, if you are, like there is, an amount of echo you get in here. So I heard a loud thud. Library. Library. That's random. I have no idea if that's relevant. But I heard a loud thud and then a voice. It sounded like a deep male voice, right? Then, I don't know, five minutes later, you said that you heard something because you didn't hear what I heard, but then I didn't hear what you heard. <laughs> I heard like it was a voice, but you couldn't tell if it was male or female. And was it around this area? Yeah. Yeah, it was down here. Okay. I didn't hear what it said either. We were probably, we were closer down here. Oh no, I'm not going in this next one. <laughs> you have to. So I reckon we were about here when we heard all of that emotion. We were, emotion. but nothing scary compared to this next room. Is there anyone here? Do you remember us? We were here yesterday. You might remember. <laughs> We had quite a commotion when we were down here. So there are some areas here gated off, such as this. And when you come to Borough, which I highly recommend guys, you go to the local tourism office and you can purchase a key. And this key allows you to go around to some areas and unlock and enter the attractions such as the breweries throughout the day. 
we do have permission to be here at night, so that's what we're doing now. But we sent a padlock on this door and we we're like, oh, I wonder if the key opens this padlock. So what does Jared do? He sticks his hand in here, right there to the padlock. And I'm not gonna repeat it, but there was a huge spider on there that crawled on his hand and it really freaked him out. I've got a little bit of footage that I took. It was hell. <laughs> of the spider on my phone. It, it, that was true horror movie spider. That was a real big chunky fella. I don't know if he's still there. Oh my God, he's still there. Is he? Yep, he's on the, I see his leg over here. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. That must be his house. <laughs> No. I don't know if it's us walking, but... It was like... A... It sounds like an echo. It, like, it could be one of us, but it might not be. It's or someone coughing down there. Is it the same as you heard earlier? Not really. And we are moving around, so it's difficult. Even if I review the camera and I hear something, it's difficult to say if it's not one of us, you know what I mean? I don't even know if I've told you around the ghost stories, but people have seen apparitions down here. People have heard voices such as EVPs and people have heard footsteps, right? Is that my voice echoing? This is where I heard footsteps, personally heard footsteps. And what's interesting is during the day, we walk down this stretch of tunnel, get to about here. We're both looking, you know, through this gated section. And I hear what kind of sounds like footsteps and movement as if someone was shuffling, walking along the floor. And this particular piece of floor has a lot of these leaves, these debris down here. So I remember distinctly hearing it and thinking it sounded like crunching. And then I looked down and I'm like, oh, okay, this is, I guess, the only area of the tunnel that's really littered in these leaves here. So I really remembered that. So I can this place, the next stretch of tunnels, and maybe the dark area is most interesting to me. So, I mean, what it, I smelled smoke earlier. Who, who is she we got through on Ghost Tube and then library. I mean, who is she could be relevant to us just entering and walking through the tunnels and then being interested in me, library. I don't know. It could have some meaning that I just, yeah. who? Again, I'm Amy, so Amy and Jared here. And again, we would love to talk to anyone. We would love to know there's someone here. You've probably been down here for a very long time. And I hope that you're happy we're visiting you tonight. Maybe the bottle too close to it? Oh, it's getting closer. Do you want to grab the better camera? Because we're only recording on SLS, yeah? Yeah. Do you like the brandy that's there? All right guys, so the REM pod, obviously you can hear it's going crazy. This is where we heard the stuff earlier. I was just setting it up, it didn't go off. We we're setting up uh, Ghost Tube SLS. It hasn't mapped a figure, but something is close enough near the REM pod 
that is just constantly triggering it. It started just going green, green, and now it's kind of blue and yellow. So what I might do is I might turn it off, reset it. Because we we're just gonna leave this area unmonitored while we do another experiment. So let's regroup and see if I can just reset it. So I've reset this noisy thing. If that was you setting it off or there's somebody around, feel free to do it again. I'd love if you can do it again. If you can show yourself why you do that, that would be incredible. I've also put some brandy here. I know this was a beer brewery, <laughs> but maybe there's something else that you like to drink. And then I've put some clear balls on the floor. If you just touch them, that's another way just to say, hey, I like the brandy. I like that you're here. Cool, nice to meet you. If you wanna make any noises for us or say anything, please do it. We both feel like we heard you today. Let's go set up in the other room, Jared, and we'll do an assist. We'll just leave this rolling unmonitored and hopefully they wanna come out to play. All right, Jared, what's the go? So we're doing an Estes method. Now at the engine house in Borough, everyone was asking for Amy to do the headphones thing, so we're mixing it back up again and I'm gonna do it this time. So yeah, I'll be listening to the spirit box. Whatever I hear, I'm just gonna say out loud and I won't be able to hear what Amy's asking because I'll have noise cancelling headphones on. Oh, let's do this. Are right, you ready? Yeah. I'll thumbs up when I'm ready. Okay, so my name is Amy. The guy standing in front of me is Jared. Feel free to come up and touch him or something, or go towards him and tell him whatever you'd like to. Maybe you can start with your name, or if you want to say hi or hello. Just so that we know that you're here. So we're down here yesterday, and Jared said it felt dark and creepy and cold to him in this area. And when we walked through here just before, we could smell smoke and now it doesn't really smell like smoke anymore. Is there a reason why that happened? I'm not gonna lie, I just, I don't hear anything or whatever. I just feel weird to turn my back down here to this tunnel. Is there someone in these tunnels tonight with us? Yeah, I just, I don't like turning my back down there. Why is it so cold in this area of the tunnels? A lot of people have heard voices and footsteps or even seen people down here. Who is that? Who's making that noise? Who is showing themselves? I don't know, I just, maybe we're in the wrong area. Can you give us a noise? Say something to Jared. I hear a dog. Are you getting anything? Nothing. Wow, okay. Not a zip. But it's really weird because I feel really cold here. It's freezing. Like, really cold. If I stand here and then I move just a meter or two back, it's so much warmer. Yeah, this is where I said I felt cold and dark earlier and I'm like, all up my legs and all like up my arms and my back is just like goosebumps, freezing cold. All around you it's freezing. Is there something else we could do right here? Honestly, I don't really know. I am getting this feeling that I don't want to turn my back down here. Just like, 
There's someone who's going to peek around the corner and look at me or something. I actually well, feel, I feel less like, like I want to turn my back to that yeah. than, than this, which is all lit. I honestly feel like someone's just going to peekaboo around that corner. Let me just check. <laughs> like just right here. Yeah, I feel really uncomfortable here, but I haven't had any, I didn't get a thing on this. I haven't heard the REM pod go off. I was feeling as though, yeah, I felt something out there and then I felt as though I could hear music, like a lady humming or something, but who knows, it might, I heard a dog bark as well, which could be something coming from the road above. Yeah, maybe. There's no way there's a dog down here. Alright guys, we've moved away from the dark area to the place where we got the first response for on ghost tube and I'm rolling another ghost tube. It said, who is she? So I thought we'd leave the SLS rolling that's been set up this whole time and I just want to again introduce myself, Amy and Jared. Was there somebody here earlier? Like, do you have something to say to us? We'd greatly appreciate knowing anything about you. What is your name? Look at that. Is that coming from through there or behind me? I don't know. It, this place is so echoey, so I don't know. It's like a thud or a or something? I did, I was hearing a car or something. Just that kind of rumble. Can you make another noise if that was, was you, if someone was down here? Do you hear that voice? Speak. I just heard a voice and then that's yeah. speak. I don't know if a woman talking or giggling or something. Where did, do you think it was coming from where the SLS is? Oh, it's so hard to tell because it's so echoey. I mean, we can't go in here. I actually feel like it came from in there, to be honest, but... Can you come towards my voice? Who's here? It always feels a little bit distant to me. Did you want me to speak or is there something that you want to say? Do you have a message for us? You asked earlier, who is she? And I've told you my name. Can you give me yours? I'm hearing really faint noises and every time I turn my head to sort of get a better grasp of what I'm hearing. It feels like it's swapping where it's coming from. So I thought we'd just mix it up in case maybe they want to talk to me more. I did say, who is she? Do you prefer talking to me instead? I'll talk to you if you tell me your name. Just to show me that you're here. I can hear a dog in the distance. Yeah. Is there somewhere else you'd like us to go in the tunnels? What is this? This thing in my hand, it's a device that can maybe detect if you're around. If you try to touch it, interact with it, you might be able to get it to say words, make noises. We just want to know if you're here or not, and if you're willing to talk to us. This is quite random, but when it said that, um, so right now I'm watching Jared through a viewfinder on my camera, and this has a face detection, so it's got a little box around Jared's head, 
every now and then I'm seeing the clock down here. Down here? No, like, it's just like right here. Like right the here. belly. Ooh. Shall I maybe get lower? Is there any ghost stories of any children down here? Not that I know of. Is this better? Do you like us being here? How do you feel about us? Something's going on down here. Yelling or something. What the heck? We've oh, heard a lot of strange noises. We're just looking into nothing. There it goes again. This always happens. I just thought in the corner of my eye, then guys over my shoulder, I saw something like a shutter here. Guys, I love this place and it has been really, really interesting so far as far as paranormal goes. But make sure that you're subscribed, have your notification bell turned on because in the part two episode that is coming up really, really soon, Jared and I are going to split up and spend some alone time down here. Also remember, I have my, oh, my Halloween merch is on sale. It's uh, got links below, but I do want to thank you all so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, please remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. That really helps me out. If you want to do any more reading about this place or any of the other haunted places from around the world I have visited, head to my website, amyscrypt.com. I also post bonus content on my Patreon and my YouTube members that are linked below. And you, can, you guys can follow me on social media. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok at amyscrypt. But thank you so much for watching Crypt Keepers. Until next time.